start, I always like to check my own blood um, whenever I'm starting out for color and consistency, especially on different lighting techniques. So very carefully, for kids, parents, you know, just... And you just start to cut, and go slow, and then sometimes it gets really deep, okay? But when it does that, don't panic. That's the main thing, you don't want to panic because you just pull it right out. The easiest blood formula in the world, I also learned from the amazing John. It is soap, and that's all it is, is soap and red food coloring, nothing else. It is the easiest blood to make in the world, and but uh, and it flows really well. Right? This is great stuff. I absolutely love it. It flows really well. You can buy one pound of methyl cellulose for like, I don't know, I think it's under 20 bucks. I like to use 25 to 30 grams of methyl cellulose powder. That goes into half a gallon of hot water, stirred in, and then I add half a gallon of ice water. That ice water makes it congeal and thicken up. I also like it to sit overnight to get any clumps out. Then once again, I will add about 16 ounces of red food coloring into that gallon. And then I add red, I add uh, green and blue, drop by drop to the desired color. I also add my opacifier, which is poster paint, temper paint. Add that in there and I'm good to go. And you don't have to add any soap to it. So guess what? It's good to go into the mouth. Awesome. Look at the way that flows. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Great stuff. Fantastic. <laughs> I want a big old slat. Somebody's getting hit in the head with a sledgehammer and they're going to get whacked really bad. This is vinyl tubing. I'm going to tell you a couple big secrets here. These connectors on the end are from Home Depot. They are pneumatic connectors for air. I figure if they're safe for air, they're safe for liquids. Because when I fill this up with blood up to here, once the syringe comes out of here, it doesn't flow back. It's going to stay in here. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So here we go. We're going to go in here and just do that. Now this is the other connector. This is the male connector that fits in the same pneumatic fitting. I use these for all my fittings. They're quick disconnects, they're great. They slide back the little spring thing, click it in. This alone is worth like 10 years of frustration and hassle. There is an opening cut. This tubing, I heated it up with a heat gun, and there's a hole cut in the side of it. I'm hooking this up to a fire extinguisher. Why a fire extinguisher? This is an all-in-one delivery system, okay? I love this stuff and I'll tell you why. Because it's an air tank, you can fill it with a, basically any air compressor. And basically it's going to deliver a little bit of a splat. Let's say I was running down there, somebody, I got a sledgehammer, I'm going to go for another one. I've already ripped this up, you have a uh, slit throat appliance on and tubing hooked up to it. It's just a foam latex appliance, right? And he's on there and I'm going to hook it up to the tubing over here. I'm using a deck sprayer. This is a Hudson sprayer, deck sprayer, insecticide sprayer. Don't worry, I got rid of all the insecticide. So he's got that quick disconnect on here already. I love that. All right, anyway, I pumped this up. I already did it earlier, right but I just always like to make sure there's enough pressure in there. The other thing that I did is the nozzle on the end of this. Cut it off. Cut it off, put a piece of vinyl tubing, heat it up with a lighter and a zip tie. Zip. So it's really, really tight when that vinyl tubing was soft. Also on the other end, I put this quick disconnect connector. I go on here and I'm all hooked up and I'm ready for the effect. And I don't want a lot of time, so I'm actually going to get my blood up and going up through here a little bit. What we're going to do here is we're going to take this knife, and I'm going to take this trigger, and I'm going to start here and I'm just going to cut. And now I'm going to show you how this looks. And I'm going to rip this appliance <laughs> right off it. Now you can't do this usually because it's fake. So you can see the tubing that's glued on here. What kind of tubing is that? That is heat shrink tubing for electronics. And I took it on the edge of a table and I rubbed it really quickly so it heat up and it flattened out so it was really flat. And then I cut little holes in it and I glued the end with some hot glue and pressed that flat. And connected that to my quick disconnect. Now because we have the quick disconnect, that blood will not flow back through. He's all safe, he can go off set and do whatever he wants. Thank you so much. Look here. Thing, then we're going to do the famous gunshot effect. You see here it's quick disconnect, vinyl tubing with a hole cut in it, and it's safety pinned onto this, uh, I don't know, weight loss device. And that Velcro's on, that goes under. We're just going to do it like it's shot out of the kidney here. And then I'm going to take my connecting tube here, and I'm just going to connect that up to a quick disconnect. This is safe for use on an actor's head. 
This little sucker here is a CO2 cartridge powered helio. That works off a little 12 gram CO2 powered cartridge. And once again, this is hooked up with a Schrader valve, like right, I cut off a bicycle inner tube. All right? Cut off the bicycle inner tube. One more, I'm using hose clamps and zip ties, heated up the vital tubing so it's really secure. Brass connector, I hook it up to here. I'm going to come up with my gun. Now, the actor can trigger this himself as well, which is a great thing. He can be holding this in his hand and running. You know, you just put it through the wardrobe or the costume, it works really well. But we're going to go one, two, three, bang! And we get a nice splat, and the sound is added in post. 